Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, part nine of the nine part series. In part nine, we're going to talk about documenting Pro Engineer part files utilizing Inventor LT and our native DWG capabilities. So as you can see in this particular example, I simply said file open, changed my files of type to Pro Engineer, and browse to the part file that I had and open it up. And, and this one's pretty detailed design. Now what I want to do in this example is I'm going to spend quite a bit of time in the 2D uh, 2D side of Inventor LT on this example. I want to I want to really reveal some of the the drafting capabilities that we have inside of uh, Inventor LT to again improve your 2D drafting output by injecting some 3D into your process. So just as I did in a previous example, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the custom view uh, ability here within Inventor LT to give me the exact uh, front view that I'm looking for determine scale and simply place the view. Now if I leave hidden views on and such it, it, it kinda kludges up the uh, the view that I'm looking for so I'm gonna go to my display option I'm gonna tell it to display tangent edges but don't display the hidden lines. So now it gives me a nice clean uh, front view that I'm looking for in this particular example. So from this front view I need to create my projected views and as you've seen before I'm gonna go ahead and project on the right I'll go ahead and, and uh, create that view. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place some uh, center marks. So I'll go to my annotate tab and, and, and we're going to spend a great deal of time in this example in the annotation tab. So uh, as you can see I just hit the center mark and just go around and click where I want center marks to be placed. Really handy. I didn't, you know, I didn't have to bring in a block or anything like that and snap to center. It just placed those center marks right where I needed them. Now here I want to create a section line and, and this section line isn't necessarily going to be a straight line like you've seen me do before but I want it to follow uh, from the top of that hole through that hole and then all the way down like so and again I'm going to set it to a distance uh, with with projected edges and if I hold down the control key you can see that it's kind of it's not it's no longer tied to uh, the horizontal alignment so that's a nice little tip if you hold down the control key while you're placing section lines you can place it anywhere on the screen now once you have it in there you can see I can just align it vertical to the other view and I'm good to go now let's talk about placing some dimensions here and and the dimension tool within inventor um, as compared to the dimension tool in AutoCAD there are a number of different buttons in the AutoCAD but really uh, the amount of dimensions that you're going to be able to place using dimension tool in inventor LT um, you don't really have to choose that many dimension types you can see here I can grab uh, a linear dimension here I can go into the uh, as soon as I place the dialog box pops up and says uh, is this do you, you want to add some tolerance information to this and right on the fly I can go ahead and make it a basic dimension now additionally some of the other drafting things these are small but man they save a lot of time if I place this this uh, particular dimension here you'll notice that it automatically breaks the extension line around the dimensions and um, again just th there, there are a lot of great uh, time savers in this I'm using the same dimension command and you can see I can just pop between doing linear dimensions and angle dimensions and if I go to the text part of the uh, edit dimension dialog I can add a typical statement just right on the fly uh, really really easy to use um, tools here. So let's go ahead and add a feature control frame and in, in, in this dialog box if, if, if you're not from too familiar with uh, GD&T um, it's, it's really easy to, uh, to, to place the information onto your dimensions um, but just following the dialog box so I can add all my uh, symbology here uh, determine the datum and all that and I'm gonna place a datum here in a second I probably should have placed datums first but that's the nice thing about it is you don't have to follow any one process in order to you know get the uh, get the desired end result so let's place another feature control frame and you know tell I need it to be parallel um, at, a, at, at the specific tolerance and at the maximum uh, tolerance possible and again the the C datum here so once I have, I've got the feature control frames again I probably should have had the, uh, the the datums in there first but you know no big deal I'll just go back grab my datum identifiers right there is going to be A and if I uh, go ahead and place my uh, my next one here you'll notice that you know, it gives me the straight lines I have the ability to, to kind of 
you know, make it look like flag and all that. But nevertheless, there's my datum identifiers. Now this is a pretty detailed drawing here. I've kind of advanced it forward a little bit. You can see I've got some baseline dimensions in there. I've got some additional whole notes and um, you know, real nice detailing. And all this was done in Inventor LT. But I've got some text in a block in AutoCAD that, you know, this this drawing is, is just it's it's red hot right now. And you know, it's just easier for me sometimes to flip back and forth between AutoCAD and Inventor to get some of the, you know, the finer details out of the way that I've, that I've used in AutoCAD forever. And, and so I'll just open up that Inventor DWG file in Inventor LT and get some of the information from a drawing that I have all my blocks stored in, let's just say, for example. And I'll go into my standards and into the blocks using the Design Center and just drag and drop that block onto this inventor DWG file. So in all reality, if, if, if you need to bounce back and forth between Inventor LT and AutoCAD LT to get your 2D drafting done, uh, again, with the, with the AutoCAD Inventor LT suite, you've got both applications in the same box. So really what we're trying to do is, is provide you all the tools that you need to increase your drafting productivity. So here I've made a quick change to the block and it's updated in the AutoCAD DWG. Let's just save it off. We'll flip back over then to Inventor and take a look at the end result. Just as I expected, the block was placed just as it was before. So again, the ability to bounce back and forth between Inventor LT and AutoCAD LT really allowed me to do what I needed to do to get this drawing out the door and down to the shop. So it's been a great journey, nine videos, all about the AutoCAD Inventor LT suite. I'm Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing, and I would like to personally thank you for all the time that you spent reviewing these videos. We hope that uh, you, you took away some things that are gonna that you'll benefit from in the long term. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, and don't forget about our manufacturing community at manufacturingcommunity.autodesk.com. We will see you next time.